Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome. You know, the team at uh, FIAT has been very much looking forward to this presentation uh, because today, March 1st, uh, is a real milestone for our family. A growing family, actually, with five new babies I wanted to meet, a sporty baby named 500S, the Tipo twins, Hatch and Station, the adorable sister, 124 Spider, and even a cousin, uh, the Fiat fullback. I would say a healthy baby that will need a big uh, swaller. Speaking of swaller, and on a more personal note, uh, March 1st is also a milestone for my own uh, family. Really, today has been on my private radar uh, for the last nine months, because believe it or not, uh, March 1st happens to also be my wife's due date. The reason why I bring this up this uh, detail up is that unlike my wife and I, today Fiat delivers more than a baby. We deliver the next iteration of the brand. Because you know, unlike uh, the family guy, what's really exciting for the brand guy is not expanding his family, it's, it's not adding nameplates at any cost. No, uh, it is adding value, it's adding uniqueness to the brand. And Fiat has been unique for the last 117 years. You know what makes Fiat unique? It is its ability to play at the same time in two arenas. On uh, the left of the stand, simplicity, functionality, and accessibility, the typical post-war Fiat. On the right, design, aspiration, fashion icons, the Dolce Vita Fiat. Fiat has been playing this duality uh, for more than a century, and today, Duality, you know, is everywhere. It takes a fashion business, for example. They created their own duality because they wanted to reach wider and grow faster. And the car industry has also uh, become pretty bipolar. Look at who has gained volume in the last five years and who has lost. The aspirational, emotional brands have definitely been growing and the value for money brands too have been growing both are a good way to go. But in the middle, the mainstream, this is where you go home. So where should we be? Emotional or functional? Well, the beauty is Fiat does not have to pick a side. Our dual culture, our heritage provides us with the legitimacy to pick them both. All we have to do is distillate the essence of Fiat and purify our double DNA. On the black side of the stand, aspiration, the culture of Italian seduction, and on the white side, the culture of function for money, as I call it. By the way, this shot, you know, the bird's eye view of the stand, this is better than any slide. It is the physical representation of where our dual culture has led us. Two sides, two souls, two colors, but no border. It is one brand. So today I'd like to show you how these two sides dialogue with one another, how they feed one another, how they complete one another. So let's use uh, the map of the stand as a speech report and start a journey from 500, the heart of Fiat's aspirational style. 500 in three numbers, number one of the A segment, 1.7 million units worldwide, 80% of which outside of Italy. So these 500s behind me, by the way, are the completely redesigned 500s presented last year. And in 2016, there is something even newer, the S. An S that stands for sporty, obviously, uh, but also for special. I mean, on top of all these features um, introduced last July, uh, 500S has special front and rear bumpers and rear spoiler, special wheels and special interior appointments. And S also stands for sales. Look at this. The previous generation S was worth 20% of a mix, purely incremental, appealing to a new, uh, younger, and more masculine customer. And last, S stands for sound. 500S is the first vehicle in the world to have the Apple trifecta. I mean, CarPlay, Apple Music, and Beats Audio all combined. This is a perfect harmonization of Apple approach to sound quality from the source to the end product. Well, as we said, 500 leads the A segment in Europe. Great. So the question is, who is second? Don't look across the auto show. Just look across our stand. Here you are, Panda, 
Only Panda is second to 500. Two very unique siblings with the same family name, Fiat. Together, they embody two different ways to look at the segment. Emotion or practicality. But what really matters is that together, they own a third of the egg segment in Europe. You see, duality pays off. Well, the panda we brought here is a little bit special. Are you familiar with Kung Fu Panda? Of course you are. Well, that other panda happens to be pretty much like ours. Cute, capable, and on its last, only third generation. So our designers, together with DreamWorks, created this one-of-a-kind panda, uh, which will be auctioned uh, to benefit conservation international and preserve the habitat of the other panda. Like any panda, ours loves white. It is its natural habitat uh, for a functional lineup. But a Fiat Panda has a special power, transcending from practical to aspirational. I mean, when you add best-in-class 4x4 capability, the cool factor becomes so evident that it also can live in a more aspirational habitat spotted here in black. Because like everything on Earth, Fiat has a yin and it has a yang, aspiration and function. As I said before, they interact, they dialogue, they feed off uh, each other. I mean. Look at the word aspirational. Did you see it? Did you see rational? Here you are. It takes some rational even when you sell aspiration. The best example, 500L. It embodies a practical side of aspiration. The right screen uh, is about style. And on the left, it's about best in class efficiency, space efficiency. You see, it is at the same time cool and capable. And with this promise, we approach 300,000 units sold in three years. And we lead the segment in Europe. And next to 500L is 500X, a different blend of design, capability, and iconic DNA. And another success in the making, with already 100,000 units sold in the first 12 months. Now, take the word functional. Did you see the touch of fun? At Fiat, we love the concept of fun in functional, like the Panda Cross. Is it functional? Yes. Is it also fun? Absolutely. So we felt that we had to uh, we had a license to further explore this territory. Remember the big stroller? Let's discover what's inside. This is a Fiat fullback. It looks like Panda's Papa Bear. It makes a bold statement about your lifestyle. Maybe am I spending too much time in the US, a country you know, <laughs> when, where a man is judged by the size of its pickup truck. But um, why not in Europe too? Well, perhaps not that bold of a statement, but there is still room uh, to keep blending functionality and fun. The fullback will debut with Fiat Professional in the second part of the year, and it will then play full-time within our passenger car lineup starting in 2017 season. I love the idea that even though the fullback is almost 50% bigger than a Panda, they are brand mates. They carry the same philosophy. And to make fullback become the official car to do whatever you want, actually the official truck to do whatever you want, we are joining hands with Mopar, to create the perfect pickup to fit your needs. You can go surf, fish, ski, ride a bike, or a kayak, whatever. You have total freedom of choice. Clearly, this is a form of freedom that relies on function. But when you speak of fiat, there is another side of freedom, right? Freedom as a feeling, freedom as an emotion. Well, there is one fiat that definitely embodies um, that other side of freedom, 124 Spider. It was born in 1966. It exported the art of Italian driving to the world, and this year marks its 50th birthday. Ladies and gentlemen, the icon is back. The new Fiat 124 Spider style, performance, and substance. A substance that starts with the winning formula of the 60s. Front longitudinal engine, rear wheel drive, great weight to power ratio, low sh center of gravity, and short throw shifting. Our new Spider takes everything that makes a convertible visceral and exciting and amps it up. 